Hello, my name is Mary Louise Bianco Smith. As Fire Commissioner of the Cherry Hill, New Jersey Fire District, I know the importance of smoke detectors in saving lives. Today, we have with us Mr. Robert Bach, the inventor of a revolutionary new smoke detector. Mr. Bach is a mechanical engineer who holds many patents in consumer products and will demonstrate the patented canary system. Also with us today, we have Mr. Tejas Narakar, who is president of Optiman Output, a company that specializes in analyzing systems and processes. Mr. Narakar and I will be asking Mr. Bach questions after his demonstration. Bob, please tell us about the new canary system. Well, I'd be happy to do that. Uh, before I tell you about the new canary system, let me introduce to you the issues what the canary system solves. You think about this, uh, almost every home in the United States today has some form of smoke detection systems. And all of them are typically mounted on the ceiling because that's the best place to detect the smoke, as mm -hmm. you well know. Uh, and the problem what that presents is the battery life. People and lots of many elderly person really hesitant to climb up the step ladder once a week or get a chair and step up on a chair and push the test button. And if you don't do that, eventually the battery dies and you have no protection. And I guarantee you the no protection problem will come up exactly when you need it the most in the case of a fire. So we need something to be able to do test the systems conveniently, easily for anybody. Uh, number two is Let's assume you sleeping in your bedroom at night, you sound asleep, and there is a fire in a basement. You even have a detector in a basement, and the fire alarm comes up, and you just sleep through it until the house fills up with smoke. And if you're lucky, you have a second smoke alarm in somewhere on the second floor. That smoke alarm also now starts blaring because the whole house is full of fumes, smoke, you get out of the bedroom and my God, the panic hits you. Where is the fire? Smoke everywhere. You try to find your way through, find a door to escape. That could be difficult and it's a traumatic experience, right? So what do we need to do? We need some system where you get a really early warning. Our system will do that. You can place a number of these detectors in different parts of the home. The basement, the garage, the kitchen, the bedroom, living room. And now what happens? Let's suppose the same scenario. You sound asleep. Suddenly, there is a fire in the kitchen. The fire alarm comes on. You don't hear it. You sound asleep, you fall away, but within a couple of seconds, all the other detectors starts repeating the alarm and blaring, including in your bedroom. Now you up and you says, oh, there is a fire. Now you don't even step out of your bedroom. You pick up your magic remote, the patented heart of the device, push a button and that will silence all the detectors in the home except the one at the location of the fire. Now you can step out of your bedroom and you know where the fire is. You don't run toward the fire. You get to your telephone, you call 911, and then you take the escape route which is away from the fire and not toward the fire because the one detector and alarm that blaring is at the location of the fire. All the other ones are silent. All the other ones came up to notify you, no matter where you are in the home, that there is a fire. An early warning before the whole house is full of smoke. That way, you can escape, you call the fire department, and if you desire, you can pick up your fire extinguisher to help out after when you call 911. Uh, it's a safe way and early warning. Now, the second feature is to assure that you always have a fire detection system operational, that you always know the batteries are fresh. 
There is the test button in the remote. You don't have to climb up on the ceiling. All you have to do anywhere in your house, you push the test button and you listen and the detector says testing, testing. It is the fire detection in bedroom. Now you know the batteries are good, uh, fresh, so you can be at peace. You can do the testing, I wouldn't recommend daily, but you know, you test it once a week, so you safe, you know you have, you don't climb up the ladder, you don't take the risk of breaking your foot that's falling up the ladder, and so forth. So the heart of the system, again, this remote control. In addition, we have some other features we can incorporate in the system. For example, you can purchase an additional unit and give it to your neighbor. Now, when you are away on vacation, as long as your neighbor is a hundred yards or so to your house, which typically they are, if you are on vacation, your neighbor gets the alarm because the radio frequency communicator that relays the alarm condition from the basement to the kitchen to the bedroom, it also relaying it to your neighbor. So your neighbor can call 911 and says, my neighbor's house is, have a smoke problem or a fire. I don't see the fire yet, but the detector is there. Please get out there, take the fire out. Easy, convenient, and nobody else can have it because we have this system patented. The only patented remote control that can silence alarm, leave only the location of the fire blaring. You know how to escape. You don't step into smoke, and you're safe. How is this better than the hardwired systems that are out there? Well, in a sense of the technical how it is better, I cannot tell you that it's better because a very good hardwire system will allow you the location of the alarm, the location of the fire source. However, where this system is better, that this is affordable. This is one-tenth of the cost of the hardwire system. And if you are living in a home that was built uh, 10 years ago or, or whatever, to try to put a hardwire system into all the rooms, it's almost unaffordable. But with this battery-operated system and the radio frequency communicator, that's a snap. It takes you three minutes per location to put it up. It's a smart programming system where you place your remote and all the detectors on a table and you push the programming button as it self-programs wow. all the detectors into the same communication frequency. That's number one. Number two, it is a special hopping frequency that keeps away from your garage door openers, your neighbor TV controllers. It's a, it picks a unique frequency that is not being used by any of your other detectors or remotes in your house. The cost is minimal, so it is better because it is affordable.